We continue our reading of God's Dream for You, The Chosen, a morning devotional by author Dwight K. Nelson. Our reading today, December 21, The Jesus Generation, The Upside Down Kingdom. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone, but its death will produce many new kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. John 12, 24 Welcome to Jesus' upside-down kingdom, as Donald Graybill described it. It's the only kingdom on earth where, in order to win, you must lose. In order to be first, you must be last. In order to be a leader, you must become a servant. In order to be the greatest, you must become the least. In order to live, you must die. Let's be honest. It's not the kind of stuff that will make you a winner on Survivor or any other of the ad nauseum reality TV shows. With Jesus, surviving isn't the driving premise for those who follow him sacrificing is. Take a kernel of wheat or corn, Jesus illustrates. Think of all you can do with corn kernels. With some glue, kids can create funny faces for the refrigerator. With a microwave, you pop up a bag of Saturday night nutrition. With some string, you can decorate a Christmas tree. Or with a glass jar, you spice up your shelves with some pretty colors. But you don't have to be a horticulturist to know that none of these is the highest calling of a kernel or seed. Because a seed has one solitary purpose in life, anything else falls short of its raison d'etre. In our text today, Jesus declares that the best seed is a buried seed. You can leave the seeds crammed together in a jar, a church, on the shelf forever, but they will never become more than a jar full of seeds. Every farmer knows that you've got to sacrifice the seed in order to save the seed. So are you, am I, are the chosen, a buried seed? All who would bring forth fruit as workers together with Christ must first fall into the ground and die. The life must be cast into the furrow of the world's need. Self-love, self-interest must perish. But the love of self-sacrifice is the law of self-preservation, the upside-down kingdom. The seed buried in the ground produces fruit. And in turn, this is planted. Thus, the harvest is multiplied. The farmer preserves his grain by casting it away. So in human life, to give is to live upside down again. The life that will be preserved is the life that is freely given in service to God and man. Those who for Christ's sake sacrifice their life in this world will keep it unto life eternal. Christ Object Lessons, page 86 and 7. That's why the Christmas story commences in a stable, not a palace. Because self-sacrifice is the rule of the King who came and the life of the chosen who follow. This concludes our reading today of God's dream for you, the chosen.